Hello, this is David at AppWorks with another FileMaker cool trick. And this trick is uh, about creating a pop-up menu and drop-down list um, that combines the best uh, features of both of those different kinds of drop-downs. So in FileMaker, you may be aware, there are two different kinds of drop-downs. One is a pop-up menu, which looks like this, and one is a drop-down list, which looks like this. Um, they're slightly different. Dropdowns actually have a type ahead feature that's pretty nice, and it doesn't show everything, and you can actually type in something yourself if you want. But if I go like this, and I start typing in something, um, it can actually take me to the, to the listing that I want. Um, this has it, but it doesn't work on Windows as well. And also, uh, this is just when you have a lot of records, this is just too long. And it's terrible user experience when you're on, particularly on a Windows machine, but um, in general, if your list is this long, this is just not a good experience for your users. So uh, one of the things we want to do here, though, is we want to deposit a foreign key from the company table into this person table, uh, this person record, so that we can connect one of these companies to this person. So um, the thing that we want to do here is um, on this pop-up uh, menu, you'll notice it's formatted a very specific way. And that is, we're looking at a value list of the names of the companies, but what actually gets placed in this ID company field is the ID. So the value list deposits the ID, but it displays the company name. And you do that by creating a value list like this. So say you've got a value list called company ID and name. It is made from the company ID and the company name field. It basically uses both of them. So in this value list, we're going to use values from the first field, which is going to be the company ID, which means that's the value that gets put in this field when we select an item from the dropdown, from the pop-up. We're also going to display values from a second field, and this one is going to be the company name, so that we see the name of the company, not the ID. Uh, we can actually see them both, but if you have this checkbox down here, show values only from second field, this means we'll only see the company name, we won't see the ID, which we really don't want to see because this is a UUID, it's a really ugly string that means nothing to people. So we're going to use all the values, we, we want to be able to choose from all of the companies in this list, but that's thousands of items. So it's not a very practical list um, for a pop-up. So the drop-down, uh, the... Uh, oh, and there's one other setting for this pop-up. So we have include arrow to show and hide list. You can see over here. There's also override data formatting with value list. What this does is shows us the uh, company name so that you only see the company name and you don't see what the value is that's actually in that field. And I'll show you the difference here. When we have this unchecked, and you go into browse mode and we choose one of these, you're actually seeing this is the value that's in that field. We don't want to see that field, uh, that value. We actually just want to see the company name. So if we click this override data formatting with value list, now we see the name, not the ID. And in this one, you see the ID, but not the name. This, this type of dropdown does not have the ability to display the company name, only the ID, only the value that's actually in that field. So what we want is we want the feature from the pop-up that enables us to show the company name, but we want the type ahead and the better user experience of the drop-down list. And here's how you combine them. So what we do is we're actually going to layer these two fields together. This ID company on the drop-down is going to go right underneath the other one. And you can line them up perfectly. Can't really see the other one underneath it. This one's on top. And the only other thing we have to do is we go over to the inspector here. We uncheck field entry on browse mode. And that makes it so that you can't click in this pop-up menu. We can see it because it's on top, but you can't click into it. The only thing you can click into is the drop-down list that's underneath it. So we're going to click right through the pop-up into the drop-down. And now we have the features of both. So I can choose type, connection, and I've got my nice type ahead. It's a much better user experience if I hit enter. Now we only see the pop-up, we see the name of the company, but we get the features of the drop-down. And that's all there is to it. You can choose any of these and you get the features of both. Um, and that's basically it. It's super useful. Uh, it will come in handy time and time again when your customers go, 
well, I don't like the long drop down menu and I also want to have type ed. Can I have that? You can say yes. So I hope it's useful for you. Uh, let us know what you think or if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks a lot.